Dronacharya says a game changer here, especially in the field of defense. I'm joined by Mr. Rohan. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Tell us a bit more about what Dronacharya is all about. Well, so um, Dronacharya here, uh, we started off as a remote pilot training organization um, certified by DGCA, so where we train candidates to become uh, you know, drone pilots. From there, then we ventured out into uh, manufacturing of different types of drones. So drones for security, for surveillance, uh, drones for agriculture, drones for firefighting, drones for medical delivery. So, you know, different types of drones we've been able to, you know, manufacture in the recent past. And also then we also provide services. So we use our pilots, our drones and go and conduct services for different uh, government agencies as well. So, um, you know, a couple of uh, recent, um, you know... Uh, Tell us a bit more about the interesting drones, uh, models that we can see here. Just what, what what does this one do and what about the, you know, the smaller one? Absolutely. So, so these particular drones that we have here, these are our FPV drones, first person view drones. Um, so, one of these are used for outdoor surveillance applications. They can travel up to speeds of 150 kilometers an hour. It's used for quick recce. Uh, you can use these for warfare. So it can be used for grenade dropping, for smoke dropping. Um, you can also have small packets that have to be delivered yeah. within a quick recce that can be done with the help of these drones. When you look at these smaller ones here, um, these are used for room intervention. So these drones can be used um, in case if there's any terrorist hiding you know, behind a table. If you want to send a drone first to go and approach and see what's there behind. Uh, you know, these can be deployed immediately and uh, then you can send your team to go and tackle the situation. So these can be daytime and nighttime as well. Okay. And uh, especially when we talk about these drones that are being used, uh, uh, you know, for warfare, be it IED and other ammunition that you'll have to go and, uh, you know, deploy. Uh, what kind of, uh, you know, deployment are we looking at? Are we looking at a point of, point of contact deployment or is it remote control? How do we see? Right. So uh, when it when you come to deployment, so there has to be a pilot who, who will be there. So uh, the pilot needs to study the area, um, do a site recce. He has to uh, then enter with care in case if it's used for warfare. You'll have to understand uh, what is the um, you know uh, target that you want to achieve, whether you want to drop a grenade or whether you want to go and see if there's somebody inside. So if you're using the small FPV drones, you will have to uh, fly very slowly so that you can identify and bring the drone back. But in case if you're doing a quick sight recce outdoors, if you have to quickly go and um, you know, drop a grenade um, you know, for tactical warfare, uh, then that has to be done at, at most speed and it requires immense training. Because uh, these are not normal drones that can be flown by everybody. It requires a lot of training, a lot of hard work, and the pilot's mindset is equally important uh, for the same. Uh, a last and final question to you. You know, you've come here, you've partaken in, uh, you know, uh, uh, Amravati Drone Summit out here 2024. You, you, in fact, one of your drones was used to welcome the Chief Minister as well. How do you feel to be part of a summit like this? You know, it's the, one of the first that we're experiencing uh, in India where you have not only, you know, uh, drones that are used for warfare, but also drones from across that are being brought here. 4,000, 5,000 plus participants who have joined and come here. How do you feel about it? I think it's a great initiative by the AP government, um, you know, to organize this massive event. Um, you know, we are excited, um, you know, to be a part of this event and, you know, we, we thank the entire AP government for providing us that opportunity. Um, you know, so we are looking forward for AP being the drone hub, um, you know, in India and India being the drone hub of the world. So right. we are here for that, we are here for that cause and we are extremely happy um, you know, that the AP government is pushing uh, you know, towards that direction. Alright, thank you so much. One of the innovative processes that took forth during the Vijayawada floods that had taken place was Andhra Pradesh government using drones deployed to ensure that they are able to get food, water and other medical supplies. Maru Drones is in fact one of the companies which had also enabled in helping out over 20 drones that were deployed by Maru Drones uh, for rescue and uh, relief that had been provided by Andhra Pradesh. Government. I am in fact joined by, uh, you know, uh, Murray Drones, uh, Mr. Prem. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Sir, you are one of the important, pivotal, uh, you know, uh, changes that were made during the Vijayawada floods. Uh, tell us a bit more about how those operations came about, how you were roped in for, you know, something as huge as the floods. So, in the morning, early hours, we got the communications from AB Drone Corporation that there's a flooded and everything. They wanted a drones immediately, 10 drones we have sent from Hyderabad because our headquarters is in Hyderabad. So, immediately we have deployed. Then the request came within a day, like more drones are needed. So, we have sent first with the delivery drones, then we had 
water drones we had in Andhra Pradesh. We have deployed around 20 drones, 25 pilots have worked day and night. Uh, we were working from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. in the night and we were delivering food, water, uh, the medicine and the uh, milk for uh, our beneficiaries. Almost 4,000 to 5,000 people who are stuck in the water got this benefited. So we worked for almost three weeks uh, in uh, Vijayawada floods. Uh, you know, we talked about how uh, these are primarily drones used for agriculture. Uh, tell us a bit more about this model that you have. Uh, you know. So uh, recently, uh, yesterday itself, we got a certification for the new drone. This drone, unique drone, is used for the fish feeding. This is the first drone you can see in the country which has used drone for the fish feeding purpose. Because generally in the ponds, fish ponds, when there is a virus, it's a uh, person goes from one pond to other pond, transmits a virus. So this drone is used particularly for feeding the uh, the shim farms or the the pond, uh, the fish uh, fisheries, and also used in agriculture for your fertilizers. So that's where we are trying. So today, uh, uh, the Honorable Chief Minister Chindrav Naidu Garu has launched this with the Civil Aviation Minister here and we have unveiled uh, this, uh, this new certified drone here and we see the greater potential for Andhra Pradesh using drones in fisheries, agriculture and a greater push from the state government for the uh, drones for the benefit of the uh, farmers and employment in the state. You know, uh, having a drone summit first of its kind in India and being able to be, you know, one of the people who are partaking in it how has it been how is the initiative are you, are you welcoming it as you know one of the top drone companies that we're seeing in the market right now so definitely it is very welcoming because uh, being civil aviation minister from Andhra Pradesh and uh, the honorable chief minister uh, is very tech savvy and is very curious he spent good amount of time in our uh, exhibition booth to understand how it is helpful to a farmer and how it is scalable toward the state and how technology is reducing the cost to the farmer and how, how employment can be increased in the state and a greater push what we see in terms of policy which state is going to come and enabling new so there are 40 50 OEMs which have come from different part of the country uh, on the request of the state government a lot of people are showing interest to be in Andhra Pradesh and you'll see soon uh, drones coming from Andhra Pradesh and you'll see how talent pool like uh, to the country drone pilots to the country will be from Andhra Pradesh what we're going to see in the coming days so you say drone acharyas are going to be back from Andhra Pradesh yeah definitely Definitely, because uh, uh, like how we are known for IT, we are known for software, uh, Andhra Pradesh will be definitely known for drone engineers, drone pilots and the drone ecosystem will be flourishing from Andhra Pradesh what we are looking at. Alright, thank you so much sir. That was Prem there from Maru Drones who goes on and clearly states that uh, not only has drones similar to this model that we are seeing can be used for uh, agriculture especially in uh, you know shrimp farming and what not but also drones that were once used just for agriculture can now go on and modulate into rescue and relief operations as well much like the ones that they had done back in Vijayawada floods just a couple of months back. Dhiraj Prasad, Adam Rawati, Apoor Rajat Chandran, India today.